hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. I was the big bear. A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. I'm Maddie Warren, I'm Keith Warren's daughter. I've been hunting since before I can remember. I think I was hunting in the womb. But we're on our annual Christmas break hunt right now and I'm super excited because this is when I get to spend a lot of time with my dad. Watching Maddie grow up in the outdoors has just been a dream come true for me. I mean, uh, I never thought I'd have a daughter that would love the outdoors as much as I do. And she really started hunting uh, before she can remember. But she just likes to go and that's the big deal. I love it that she just likes to go and she loves the outdoors. I'm a sophomore up at Texas A&M this year and I was looking for things to do so I joined the archery team. I wasn't very great going in, but there's a lot of good people on the team. They taught me a lot, I shot every day, and my end goal was to be able to go on a hunt with my bow. If she had a few months shooting with those folks over at A&M, I knew she was gonna be hooked and I knew that once I got her in the blind, she'd be able to make the shot. Perfect, perfect. Santa Claus was good to Maddie this year. He brought her some really cool stuff and I can't wait to see her use it. Let me tell you all about my new bow. It's a 2016 Darton Exciter. It's really fast, it's quiet. I'm only shooting 36 pounds and I feel really confident with my shot. We're at Great Texas Hunts and they've got everything. They've got big, pretty, typical bucks. They've got management bucks, does, anything you want, they got it. And it's super close to San Antonio. This buck right here, where'd he come from? I don't know. Is that one good for me? Yeah, shoot that deer right there. Wait till he butts his leg forward. When I released that arrow, I was shaking so bad because I was so excited. I just wanted to know if I got him. But I had to slow down and realize I need to wait and experience this angst so I can make sure that I made an ethical shot and the buck was down. Some right here on the blade of that grass right there. It's starting to drizzle and I'm not happy about that. Hey, there's my arrow. Look at that. See, it's got that little white marker on there so you can see if there's blood on it. That's good blood. Look all the way up to the veins. And I'm telling you what, that broadhead right there, that is one killing machine. Now we're going to be able to find some blood. Look, look what do you think? <laughs> look at him! Look, look at all the blood on there. Look at the blood all over the cactus. I knew he wouldn't be far. This is pretty cool. Look, he's got a broken bean. Look at this. What a gorgeous buck. First buck with a bow and arrow, man. Look at that. I, I am like, I don't even know what to say. I'm so happy. I was shaking so bad. We came out here for our annual Christmas hunt and we're at Great Texas Hunts. And uh, I've shot a rifle, I've shot a crossbow, I've shot a little bit of a compound bow, but I've really gotten into it this year. And this was my first big game animal, shooting a bow. It's unlike anything else. It makes me feel like I'm hunting for the first time all over again. I get buck fever. You have to get closer to them and you have to pull back and you have to stay steady and you have to make sure you're anchored right. And it's just really challenging. And 
I, I love it. Am I blessed or what? I'll tell you what, <laughs> this is so cool to be able to take my passion and love for the outdoors and to be able to pass it on to my kids and to my little girl that is growing up into a beautiful young woman that absolutely is passionate as hunting about hunting as I am. And I am super duper proud. Thanks, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maddie. I'm Maddie Warren, and you're watching The High Road with my dad, Keith Warren. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, 10X High Performance Hunting Gear, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Bird Coyotes Luminoc, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Tannerite, and Bloodsport. The High Road will be right back. One of the big benefits of my job is having an opportunity to uh, see lots of different country. On this next video coming up, I'm going to take some specialized pieces of equipment out as I help manage feral hogs and white-tailed deer. I am seated in a tower stand down in South Texas. There's a lot of deer on this ranch. As a matter of fact, there's too many deer on this ranch. What they've done is they've asked me to come down here and help them with the management of the does. Therefore, I brought a suppressed 308 down here and the place has also got a lot of pigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up here in this stand. If any pigs show up, I'm gonna try to take them out. If any does show up, I'm gonna try to take them out. Come dark, I've got a clip-on Armacite night vision unit. And inside of 10 seconds, I can clip this on the bell of my scope and I can turn this 308 daytime hunting rifle into a nighttime hunting rifle. So what the intentions are is to hunt for deer and hogs if they come in close enough before the sun sets. Once the sun sets, I'm gonna stay put. And if a hog comes in, I'm gonna use my clip-on armosite unit right here. And I'm gonna see if I can take out a hog. This wrench has so much game on it. And I'm so happy that I brought a suppressed rifle. Now I've got two hogs right out there, but they're about 100 yards out. I'm shooting subsonic ammo. Subsonic ammo is shooting less than 1,100 feet per second. Consequently, I'm not going to shoot past 75 yards just simply because the bullet does not have the velocity out any further than that to really take down one quickly. And ethically, I want to shoot surgically. I want to place it shot perfectly in the brain so they go down instantly. Here comes a pig. Here comes two pigs. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, here we go. It's lights out. And take a look at that. The deer are still standing here. That's what's so cool about hunting with suppressed equipment. Now, a year ago, maybe a little bit more, they legalized hunting for big game animals with suppressors in Texas. And so that's good right there, that pig right there. He took one for the high road team. Well, I'm fixing to run out of light and so it does not look like I'm gonna have a chance at a doe. I'm gonna get my rifle set up now in the event that a pig comes in after dark. I'll take this clip on unit just like this and it attaches to any rifle scope. So we're gonna stay put about an hour after dark, see if something comes close enough for a shot. South Texas, middle of December, the rut's fixing to get started and the deer are starting to get real frisky. I mean, saw a lot of bucks this evening, saw a couple of does, but I just didn't have a chance at them. I brought a suppressed rifle because I'm on a management hunt. I'm trying to take does out, but the rancher's giving me the, the uh, approval of his 
to be able to take out some pigs. So I took this little guy out early, you know, just a precision laser accuracy. I mean, just right in the ear, dropped him. As the sun went down, no does gave me a shot. I put on my clip-on unit, made my armor sight on this rifle here, and I'm telling you what, it just takes it to a different level. I never go hunting in an area that I'm allowed to hunt at night for hogs without taking a clip-on unit with me. And the reason why is it's just so much more fun. At night is when the big guys come out. As you can see, this is a big one. He's probably 125 pounds. Gonna be great eating. We're gonna make tamales out of him. But uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna have a chance to show you what this suppressed rifle will do on a doe if the bucks would just leave him alone. But right now, I gotta get some help, get these guys loaded up and get to work. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, Nemo Arms, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, BSA Optics, Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back.